Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we got You'll Understand When You're Older by Love Joy. Uh, this song is really easy. We have a couple of riffs going throughout the whole song, which is uh, the reason why I'm showing you this one. Otherwise, it's basically just four chord chord progression, mainly repeating throughout the whole song. So I just want to clear up with the chord progression stuff. Firstly, then I'm going to be moving all the on to the riffs. So let's have a quick look at the rhythm. It's basically... I'm going down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, where the second down is actually muted, which means down, up, chick, up, up, down, up. That's how it actually goes. So down, up, chick, up, up, down, up. And how we are muting that second down? We are lifting off from the chord position. So we have, see that? I'm strumming down, up, fake strum. So you're muting the chord. Everything is done with the help of your left hand. So that's the advantage of bar chord. So we have up, up, down, up. Chord progression starts off with a G sharp chord, fourth fifth bar, then you have six six on A and D, five on G, so four six six five sorry, four six six five four four G sharp. Uh, then you have a D sharp which is mute, six eight 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 on A D G B, high E string muted, F minor seven, mute eight, ten, eight, nine, eight. A sharp minor, which is uh, you can call it a B flat minor, bar the whole sixth fret, and then you have eight on the A and D. And then you have C sharp major, which is or you can play it over here. So it's a D sharp shape, two frets back down. So it's mute four six six six. Or you can play it over here, which will be nine eight eight. Sorry, nine eleven eleven ten nine nine. That's basically the chord shapes. Uh, the chord progression is starts off with the G sharp. Full bar, D sharp, full bar, F minor, full bar, and then we have A sharp minor and C sharp in a single bar. So we have kind of same sound, both of this chord. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Play the string pan once for every chord, but for the last two chords, which is A sharp minor and C sharp, split it. It will be down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So we have. I like to go down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then I like to go for one, two, three, four, five on the C sharp chord. Uh, this is an exception, which we have. And thus I hear that in the song. So I really don't want to focus much on the chord stuff. We have the riffs going on, but it's all about uh, the chord progression. You match the chord progression, match the crown. You can just make up your own string pattern and just use for the whole song. The string pattern is not something necessary for this song especially. So we have. That's how it kind of goes. Uh, now, let me just show you the riff. First riff, which goes for the intro. It's all on that high E string. And that riff is repeated three times, same thing. So we have 13, 13, 13, 13. I'm playing it down, up, down, up, so four times. 13, 13. Sorry. So 13, 13, 13. Then we have 11, again 4 times, everything is down up, down up, so down up, down up, down up, down up, then come to 8, 4 times, so down up, down up, and, and then I go on the 9th fret 2 times, down up, and then 1 time on 8, on the E string, down, so we have down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, up, down, down up down up down up down up down up down up up down you can do that so we have 13 13 11 11 8 9 8 repeat that three times And then you play fourth fret on the high E string seven times, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And after every stroke, you just kind of mute that. 
like that. So yeah. Uh, pretty easy, right? Uh, let's move on to the last riff. When you go to the outro of the song, just before the outro, we have this riff going on, which is based on the F minor pentatonic scale, and it's played like this. So have a closer look. Um, have a look at my fingers too, how I'm playing that. So on the high E string, we have 16, 13. Pinky index. So. Then go to the B string, play 16, 13 with the same fingers. And then again, you repeat 16, 13 on the B string. And then you go to ring index and you play 15, 13 on the G string. So we got. And then you play. You play this thing twice, which is 15, 13 on the G string. Then D, 15. Then G13. Repeat that another time. So we have. I'm going a bit fast, let me slow down. Sixteen, thirteen, sixteen, thirteen, sixteen, thirteen, fifteen, thirteen, fifteen, thirteen. Over here. Fifteen, thirteen, fifteen, thirteen. Repeat. One more channel, let me just repeat the tabs. 16-13 on the high E string, 16-13 on the B string twice, 15-13 on the G string, 15-13 on the G, 15 on the D, 13 on the G, repeat. 15 on the G, 13 on the G, 15 on the D, 13 on the G. Sorry. Yeah, something like that. Um, then we have the last part, and it really gets weird, and uh, the song ends. Before that, it's more of like this riff goes on, which is really weird. On the high E string, a bit high. I'm playing 16. 1, 2, 3, 4. So down, up, down, up. Then you have 18. Then 20. Then 18. And repeat. 16, 16, 18, 18, 20, 20, 18, 18. And the chord progression goes on, which we just learned. But when you come to the end of the song, for the last time, the chord progression changes. And it's more of like walking backwards. And we have... So it's basically a G sharp major chord. Uh, we're gonna be playing the strength pattern once. G minor, 355, 333. F sharp major, same thing as a G sharp chord, 244, 322. F minor, 133111. E minor, open second, second, open, open, open. One dance string and G sharp chord, and that song. So we have major. Minor, minor, major, and that's the whole song, guys. So I hope things are clear. Um, hope the video helps you out. Let me know what other songs you want to learn. I have likely covered almost all uh, the songs from the EP. I'm still left with one or two. So check it out. Let me know what's your favorite song from uh, Pebble Brain. Bye bye.